since I got caribou out there. They're walking towards the river to bail. Oh, man. The snow is too deep for me to walk. It's too much for me to crawl down the runway. I'll freeze before I get there. I need my hunting license and paperwork. Spare bullets here. We all know I need lots of those. Gun. The last thing I need are my shooting sticks. I'll grab that out the door. I don't want to get a female. I do want to get meat. Let me be successful. Again in my freezy now, but it'd be nice to add a caribou. Sue Akins is on the hunt for caribou, a key food source for the coming spring. But the animals are only available as they migrate through the area, and an early herd is an opportunity she can't afford to waste. They've already made me, they're looking right over. Damn it. With my personal code of ethics, I don't want to get a pregnant cow. I want to see the dangly bits. There's no way for me to judge boys and girls from this side. Fuck. Keep it up. 
We have to keep going around and around. Yep. Okay, here's half your problem. The jackass left this one there. It's tied up. Yep, it won't even fucking expand. It's crap. I did that. I'm the jackass who put it up. Well, jackass, we won't do that twice. Yeah. <laughs> Almost there you go. Oh, one more. Careful. Yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> Get some wood. 
who wants to go get white? Just a short run. I woke up this morning, it was about 30 below zero, went out to my power shack and I got no wood. I like getting firewood with the dogs as much as possible, especially when it's colder out, the machines are a pain in the butt to deal with. The dogs are always reliable. It's good exercise for the dogs and I just like the dogs better than the machines. It's just way, way more fun with the dogs. Atta boys. A little more key, 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 key. Come on, up, 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 let's go. Up, up, up. Oh, oh, it's either cut wood or go get a job, make money and buy oil. I'd much rather go cut wood. Yeah, well, this tree's leaning definitely the wrong way, but at least I don't have to worry about it dropping it on the dogs. So you're at the mercy of the lean of the tree. You just don't want to come down, do you? Trees hang up uh, sometimes multiple times, and um, it makes for a lot more work. I think four trees just to try and get it to where I could cut it up for firewood. I'll get back in there and stumble around and try and get the rest of the wood another day. I just can't tell which one is 
material come up. You must develop in your life a line in the sand that doesn't get crossed. Kavik Valley is known for the uh, feed. The type of lichen that we have here is the kind that really adds the fat on. This is an opportunity too good to pass up. Here they are again, about two, three miles down. The time is of the essence. Now that we 
have the wood thrown in the teepee. Most important, tar. It's gonna walk to the river and get some ice. What I do is I pretty much just go out and go find a big crack or a lot of cracks join like that. And of course you can see the ground under there. You can actually see the bottom. That's real good drinking water. Just start chipping away and opportunities that are heading our way and we try to put all that together so this should last us a couple few days so I'm just gonna go bring this ice to the um, tent and then I'll have my water and my heat it's always a good sign when there's tracks there's caribou there's ptarmigan but uh, I gotta make my way over to the wood too that's more important than anything else
never know what Mother Nature is going to throw at you. You're at the top end of extreme for conditions. Here she is. Whew. Damn cold. Temp is dropping fast and hard. But I'm just going to try to get a real quick gut job done. And bring this joker home. It's been a while since I've had to do one in the wintertime here. This is not common. These guys are not supposed to be back here for a couple of months yet. Okay. Well, that ain't gonna fucking work. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to frozen. Cruising 
top speed across the Yukon River jumble ice. The sled started running sideways and I couldn't control it. I felt the sled starting to give way on me, so I just let go. Bailed because I was afraid I was going to fall off. The sled continued on with the dogs. It was crashing and banging and eventually it slammed into a chunk of ice, flipped over. Anybody here get hurt? You guys okay? You was just going like the wind. Holy crap, man. Holy shit. Plastic shouldn't do that, but it looks like it's it's just getting kind of old and brittle. I don't know if I can get this home like this. I'm going to just unload the sled here. Maybe take one log for my fire and then lighten the load up and try and get it home. Stay. I don't want to come home empty handed because I'm out of wood. A fast, easy wood trip's turning into a bit of an ordeal here. Man, I lost my sled twice today. <laughs> Man, I don't think I ever seen one blow apart like that. All right, easy, you guys, easy. Gambo, easy, man. Easy. That wasn't too bad. The sled didn't come to an abrupt stop, but I've had them crash before where it comes to an abrupt stop. I've had dogs rip right out of their harnesses before. And that's not good for the dog. Good boys. <laughs> what a mess. When I came down the hill, I heard something pop. I knew the sled wasn't handling right, so I just decided let go, get get the heck away from it, because the last thing you want to do is fall on that hard ice out there. That's how you really get messed up. I'd rather just let go. I can rebuild a sled. I can't rebuild an Andy. Something good came of it. Got a couple pieces of wood for my fire. That'll get me a couple hours. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to bring this into my shop and really go over it, but I mean, it's... It's smucked. I mean, it's gone. Look at that. That's pretty much toast. This is a total rebuild. So I guess the quicker I can get the dogs put up and get it in my shop, thaw it out and start tearing it down, the quicker I can get back on the trail, go get my wood. All right, you guys did a good job. That was me. I'm the one who screwed out. I'm the dumbass today. Today, you were a good anchor. I saw you stop everybody. You're such a good boy. In the way that my wife was raised up, she kind of takes care of the warm places. I kind of deal with the cold places. I'm going to go get some more firewood. There's a log right over here. I'm going to go to... It was there this summer, and I flipped it up to make sure it would dry out really well. So before I run out of heat, take this tired ass chainsaw and walk over there and chop it up. Oh, heat is important. Heat dries everything, cooks everything, lets the body bathe in warm water, drink hot stuff. Heat is life. A good river will give you everything. Some good drinking water, fish in the right seasons, and firewood. It comes from upriver. got yesterday that hasn't been burned yet and this wood right here I'd have a couple four or five days with the wood I think well this will be good for setting up camp for now but I am gonna have to go get more wood it is a constant chore it's like going to the river and getting ice it's like going to the bathroom these are just cycles we're always attentive to when I start to get low on wood I don't run out of wood I go get more that's just the trick to it all call it wood reduction. I reduced it from being a tree on the over there on the bank to chunks of wood. I brought it here, I soldered up another pieces, and now I'm gonna bust it up with the axe so it'll fit inside my stove. Eventually this will all be ash. I got about two fires here, two fires there. Something to start us in the morning. Finish up at night, start in the morning, finish at night. It's a never ending chore. You want some tea? Yeah, tea would be awesome. Nice and warm, huh? Yeah, here I'll add some more wood to the fire real quick. My chores are done. I got them logs and I got the wood split up. I went out and chopped some 
ice and just stacked it up for later. Cool. Tent is up. Tent is up and happy. Our chores are done and it's time to hunt. Gotta take advantage of opportunities as they come. I never know what the day's gonna bring.
achieved the goal and got some caribou. And when you get it in the winter time here, when you get food like that in the winter time here, it is the biggest blessing, but at the time, you're thinking it's quite possibly the world's largest curse. Because what I had temperature wise was anywhere 26 to 30 something below zero, 20 mile an hour winds plus coming out of the south southwest. What that means is 52 to 55 below zero wind chill factor. Took my body temp down like that. My fingers, i coming away with blood. My fingers are freezing to the knife, but I stuck with it. I got it, and this is a result. To be able to get a, a fresh cooked little meal like this, fresh protein is uh, pretty amazing for me. Much, much appreciated. Looks like my coffee's getting there. Can't have a good breakfast without good coffee. tough hunt but that's a tender little cow you know it's easy to see when you get really injured that you can just give up and say whatevs I'm done um, but I haven't done that and I didn't do that with the hunt either so the hunt really typifies how the whole year went successful in the end but a hell of a journey getting there 